Here we go again. On my own. Walking down the only. People are like, I thought this was an AI podcast. Why are these people karaoke 80s? Yeah, why do these guys need to shut up? Yeah, well, we are. But before we shut up, mm-hmm. I want to get into this product that we have. Just quickly explain the product, who you are, who I am, and then we're going to get into some of the market segments about the product. Yeah, so we have a product called the Real Intelligence API. It is a free-to-use API for artificial intelligence or machine learning firms to tie into the total marketplace technology, query it as many times as you want, and source data from the most diverse group of people and data samples in the entire world. Done. Done. So AI development companies, startups to large enterprises, if you're focused on AI and machine learning solutions, we have high quality data for training, improving mm-hmm. model accuracy, and reducing bias. So how do we address the needs to an AI development company? Yeah. Rich, real-time human data, bias reduction, ethical sourcing, costs and time savings. Yeah. So economically, all those great things. Scientifically, to these companies, the Real Intelligence API allows for quick adaptation to your data needs. If you need it from certain people, if you find that you are lacking a certain demographic of data you are getting from, you can fill that quickly using the Real Intelligence API. And you don't even have to have all of your data come from Turtle. If you are augmenting or enriching the data set, which many firms do, you can do that using the Real Intelligence API. So if you're getting off the ground and you want to try your first data sets, use this. If you already have data sets and you're developing more AI and you need to enrich some stuff, use the Real Intelligence API. And you're going to get all the benefits. You're going to get the reduction in liabilities. You're going to get the best longitudinal, real-time human feedback data directly from the data owners. Yeah, and that's the beautiful part, especially when you look at not just high-quality data access, ethical compliance, but the collaborative research features that we have in, in the system. I want to get into enterprise AI departments, because this is different. You know, these large enterprises, they have in-house AI teams. Yeah. And it's different industries. And so I, I, we talked about this yesterday. I want to get into compliant data solutions, scalability, and integrations with existing systems in various industries. Yeah. So for Tartle, it's, it's really easy to bolt it into your workflows. Now, more often than not, when data is getting sourced uh, through our AI partners, they just pull that data in and they put them into like S3 buckets, okay? And when that's there, then they take it and then in their servers, they train their models from it. If you're a larger enterprise firm, it's not difficult to test some of this data and bring it in. You can actually, you, your time to close, like you have mentioned before, becomes dramatically accelerated because all the permissions and consent happen ahead of time. You don't have to go to legal. You don't have to figure out like where all this stuff's coming from. You know it's coming directly from that data producer. And the benefit at the enterprise level is that not only can you use the Real Intelligence API for your data sourcing, but if you're an enterprise that deals with consumers directly, we have other technologies that help you unlock even richer data from the people that you want to collect that data. Yes, exactly. We have options for those enterprises that have bodies of people, and we have options for enterprises that don't have those bodies of people but still need the data. Yeah, and the needs that an enterprise AI department, especially these in-house ones, are regulatory compliance assurance, which we've got that nailed, and we've made several videos on that, scalable data acquisition, and then API integra- you know, integration capabilities. Yeah, so our, is real fluid. our teams are very helpful with guiding you through the API integration. We have fantastic documentation to do so. You're not going to miss a beat. We can hold your hand through it give you the keys, give you a little bit of training, give you some examples on how to use this stuff. But if if anything, it'll take you no more than 20 to 30 minutes if you have a normal amount of mental aptitude to figure out how to use this thing and then start sourcing that data directly from these parties. And the beautiful part about it is it's not you come to Turtle and I'm locked into buying you know X amount of data. Mm-hmm. There are different tiers or you're buying that can give you different benefits, but you can choose the volume. So you can scale as, you know, the the data demand you have, our supply will scale with you. And that's a really important context. So as you're going out and searching, you can always have that pipe filled with what your what your needs are going to be. Yes, yes. And we're open to taking those conversations ahead of time. If it's something truly rich and novel, we will be able to implement that into the marketplace and let consumers know that, hey, this is something that's needed. 
mm-hmm. and we can get them to fill that for you. Yeah, that's if it's the... non-existent data, mm-hmm. ask us about it. Yeah, be like, is it possible to get things like that? We love those questions. Mm-hmm. I, I like that. I want to get into AI-driven startups, and, and you know, mm-hmm. startups out there, they're they're going crazy for products and different products and services all across, from healthcare to you know, shipping IoT devices, however that looks, but. How can a startup, an AI-driven startup, how can it have cost-effective data access, have rapid development, have multiple capabilities, and a competitive edge? You know, I want a competitive edge, but yet I have to be cost-effective. Yeah, there's only one way to do that is you need the scalability of the Real Intelligence API. In order to get your models off the ground, you're going to need somewhere from, say, 1,000 to 5,000 data samples. Great place to get that is at Tartle. And the beauty of it is you're going to get something that somebody else doesn't have. So you get immediate differentiation in the market. Yes. And early on, as you're a young firm and your model is young, Mm -hmm. you got to train much more robustness into it. And so when you go to talk to your investors, you can talk about one, doing the right thing, but also how differentiated your model is because of the way you're sourcing your data samples. Well, I also think it's, it's important because not only is it affordable, uh, but it has accelerated development cycles. And that's what you're just talking about. Yeah. But the RTFH, the real-time human feedback feature, it's unique in its own self. And how would that play out for product improvement? Well, it's great because... Especially when you're starting out with a new product. Yeah, you need to adapt quickly to the the feedback you're going to be getting from people. And so, okay, well, what's the data I'm going to need to get more of that feedback and get it, get it more quickly and more often? You know, of the, the AI development cycle or machine learning like life cycle... The Tartle Real Intelligence API covers 50% of that total spectrum, Mm -hmm. 50% from one place to go to. The other stuff is really the differentiation that your team is going to be doing, pencil whipping that data and tuning your algorithm. That's amazing. But 50% of your whole business value, you can capture that over here at Tartle in in a one-stop shop. So government AI initiatives, you know, we have the public sector organizations, uh, we understand that. But when it comes to what would it look this, like this is a good point. with, with govern, government AI? Yeah, so when it comes to governments and uh, designing artificial intelligence models, they have issues with the Fourth, Fifth, and Sixth Amendment. It creates a lot of limitations for them as a government entity to go and just take data. They have to have all these special requests, do all this crazy stuff. Well, now, for the first time ever, when we work with government entities, they can actually go to the public and ask the public directly. Think of it almost like, you know when those you get the economic surveys, what the hell are they called? Well, I mean, you have the every, the, 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 you have the every four years, yeah, yeah. Whatever, they knock on your door and they, yeah. people are yelling it right now. Change it from four years down to like every single day. Yeah. So the same, take that practice and almost do that into your data sourcing as a government entity. Well, your stringent government regulations that you have and the requirements that you have for data with this ethical data source, Tartle, it yeah. meets that. And not only that, it exceeds is, it. it's fully compliant. Yeah. So if you're a government agency, you're not going to have any issues. We've talked to many. And also, it's diverse, and it's a representative data set of the population. Which is what you're required to have as a federal entity. You have to have a representative data set. So what better place to use a one-stop shop tool that is compliant with current regulations, which does not have, uh, which alleviates any issues you would have with the Fourth, Fifth, and Sixth Amendment, and allows you to actually have an engagement with the public. And I when you're the government, you should have proper engagement with the public. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is where they're going to get really excited. Are you ready? Yeah, go for it. This is one. This is one where I'm just going to make all the government people feel happy. Here we go. Audible data trails. How sexy is that? Audible data trails. Yeah, being able to audit that stuff. Yeah, no, you That's need. Yeah. Where did that come from? Yeah. No problem. Show you right here. All compliant. Built into the tech design. Yeah. It's- if you're a government entity. If you're a national lab, if you're DOJ, I don't care what you are, you know, give us a call. And we, if you're a three-letter agency, yeah, we're here for you. Maybe if not the CIA. Or le- yeah, <laughs> yeah. Four letter. Or the NSA. Anybody else, though? Anybody else, we're good. <laughs> yeah, you just, you give it. Well, it would be nice if they would actually go to the people and ask permission for the data. No, they would never do that. The NSA and CIA is so good at stealing data from people. Exactly, oh. yeah. Well, we digress now. Yeah. But we're here for you. Truthfully digress. Yeah, we're here for you. So any of those qualms about 4th, 5th, and 6th Amendment holding you back from your AI development as a government entity, 
Give us a call. Toto.co, click the little button, schedule a time, and we'd be more than happy to have a conversation with you. Yep. Thanks for joining us today, everybody.